no end in sight for the jat agitation which has brought Haryana to its knees. Normal life has been thrown out of gear. Fresh clashes took place in Rohtak today as the agitators burnt government vehicles. And now this agitation has been going on for about nine days. It's taken a heavy toll on business. Industry body Asocham pegs the figure at more than 20,000 crore rupees. Sahil Magnani brings you this report on how these figures are expected to rise further. 39-year-old Sanjeev Kumar Sharma travelled to Delhi from Tamar Nadu last week, covering a distance of over 2,000 kilometres. But he hasn't been able to cover even 150 kilometres to reach his ancestral village in Hisar, Haryana. Road blockades by Jat community have forced Sanjeev to stay put and spend four nights in a Delhi hotel, shelling out 15,000 rupees. I am here for five days. In Delhi? In Delhi. और करीब करीब मेरा जो पैसा था होटल में सब चला गया कितना पंद्रह हजार रुपए लगभग क्यों क्योंकि बाहर कोई बसे नहीं है जाने के लिए twenty thousand crore rupees that's what industry body Asocham estimates is the loss due to the jat agitation with protesters damaging rail tracks Haryana has been practically cut off from the rail map resulting in a loss of over two hundred crores. लोगों को तो काफी नुकसान हो रहा है लेकिन जो है अब एक अर्थू लगा है पूरा अब बंद है तो हम लोग भी नहीं खोल सकते ना हमने इसी चक्कर में अपनी सारी शॉप बंद कर दी। Not just the railways, trade and industry have been crippled too. Business hubs like Gurgaon, which is home to many top MNCs, has been affected. Maruti Suzuki has stopped production at its Gurgaon and Manisar plants and sent employees on leave. Even small businesses have been adversely affected with shops shut in border towns like Bahadurgarh. Several trucks are stranded at the border, resulting in no supply of components. Imagine you have an unmissable appointment. While you're on your way to the meeting's location, you encounter a group of protesters who have blocked the route. You beg, you plead with folded hands, but they turn a deaf ear to all your desperate requests. That's exactly what protesters here in Haryana have been doing to almost everyone trying to exit or enter Haryana, causing India's national economy a loss of 20,000 crore rupees. Surely, members of Jat community, particularly the ones indulging in incidents of putting vehicles on fire like this one, have a lot of explaining to do. With video journalist Satish Shupadhyay from Haryana's Bahadurgarh, I am Sahil Murli Meghani.